Hey, buy a ticket tomorrow? Looks like I've seen that. I'm Alec Peaceful. I, I know. It looks fantastic. Hey, something we haven't seen in a while here across East Texas, and that is Lake Palestine up to its bank and even overflowing the banks here. As Ross Hayes captured this picture of the spillway and watched the water running down over the spillway. Another scene here. I mean, we've had so much rain in about the last, say, 8 to 12 weeks that we're finally starting to recharge these farm ponds, lakes, streams, rivers that were running so low. We have a little while to go. Uh, and this storm was, is going to help. It's going to help us catch up even more here in the coming days. That's uh, not a, a truly like, strong storm that we've seen, but it is a vigorous storm and it will move across the area. It brings a better chance of severe weather to our east, but it brings us maybe more importantly, more rain as we head into the middle part of the week. Right now, it's already beginning to spread showers and thunderstorms from Mount Pleasant back to Corsicana. We have some stronger thunderstorms out here toward Waco and Corsicana, but they're not even close to severe limits right now. But we are picking up a, maybe a little bit of hail or wind inside those storms as our Titan indicator uh, would show us. Around Canton right now in western Van Zandt County, there's a little thunderstorm there. Otherwise, the rest of the region is dry and will likely stay dry for the next couple of hours until the front starts to push to the east. As it does, it'll begin to bring the rain and thunder in our direction. So we have a marginal risk of thunderstorms tonight, marginal risk of thunderstorms tomorrow. It's a low end threat here with winds around 40 to 60 miles an hour at times. In fact, this is new data that just came in and that low threat in parts of Anderson County tries to sneak up into Smith County as we head into the overnight hours and by tomorrow afternoon, it is long gone. All right, here's future Skycast starting off in the evening and watching these showers just kind of get closer and closer to us. If we're going to see anything that might provide some heavy downpours, maybe some gusty winds, it'll be around midnight to about 3 a.m. Then that moves off to the east. We start to see additional showers develop behind the front Wednesday morning, but the temperatures are also dropping Wednesday into the low 50s by the time we get to dinner time. And then tomorrow night into Thursday morning, the temperatures fall into the lower 40s. Thursday, what a recovery back to southerly winds with a temperature around 70 degrees. We've got a stronger cold front coming through. It just doesn't have as much moisture to work with. And so Friday, we've got partly cloudy skies, temperatures ranging from 44 at Gilmer to 57 at San Augustine with a little patch of drizzle that comes through. Friday is really going to be noticeably cooler here. Saturday better, mid 50s. Sunday better, closer to average with highs in the upper 60s. And then that sets us up for a Valentine's Day storm that could provide another severe weather setup for us. Look how much rain we could see between now and next Tuesday. Yes, four to five inches of rainfall across the area. It's possible with as many rounds of rain that will come through. All right, tonight, temperatures, a warm night with rain and thunder in the lower 60s, but then tomorrow, the temperatures are falling all the way back to about 49 by 7 p.m. On the Baylor Scott White Texas Spine Joint Hospital 7-day forecast, we'll say rain and thunder ending late tomorrow with temperatures back down to about 50 in the afternoon. Thursday's a great day up to 70, blustery, colder Friday. Weekend looks good with highs in the mid to upper 50s. Then the unsettled weather returns Monday and Valentine's Day with highs in the 60s. We'll look at the 10-day forecast tonight at 10.